The Texas Medical Center, TMC, which is home to the University of Texas Health Science Center, or UT Health, is the nation's and world's largest medical center. UT Health has a healthy footprint within this medical landmark destination and has earned its reputation as a key university and medical facility to its member constituents. Behind the scenes of what makes an enterprise healthcare organization run is the IT organization, delivering the building blocks upon which new medical discoveries are found, patients' care established and archived, as well as servicing a full academic institution with people, curriculum, as well as the business of education. At UT Health, we serve a variety of different customers. We have both doctors that we serve on our clinical side, and we also have students that we serve on our educational side. We have a med school, we have a school of dentistry, we have a school of public health, we have Harris County Psychiatric, and we also have UT Physicians, which is our clinical branch. In a clinical environment, your, your customers are actually doctors. They have very high standards for everything. So being able to keep them happier and minimizing the disruption to their days and to serving their patients goes a long way to build a better relationship with our customers. We have about four and a half petabytes of data. We have to deal with the student data, which is a share everything model, but then we have patient data, which is share nothing. So how do you do that and how do you keep it available for everyone? We leverage NetApp Metro Cluster to do this. And then we have virtual wisdom watch the traffic in between so that we know that everything is in sync between our two data centers. Serving our customers and keeping our data available to them is the number one focus of our storage team here at UT Health. We approached Virtual Instruments uh, several years ago to help us with a problem that we we're having. This problem involved working with our data between two separate data centers. We run a metro cluster environment for our NAS data. We also use EMC VPlex in a metro, in a metro environment so that we stretch all of our data between both data centers. Everything lives in each data center and everything is shared. It also has to be 100% available 100% of the time in both data centers. They brought the equipment in to do an IPA and we were having an issue at the time. We could not determine why our two data centers were functioning differently. We were getting great performance at one data center within our Allscripts application. At the other data center, it was not performing as well. We didn't understand what was going on we believed that everything was the same. Through the IPA engagement, we were able to find out that, in fact, at one data center, we had a whole different set of CNA cards. These CNA cards were actually holding traffic in them and not sending the traffic. They were also not balancing between the two ports like they should have been. Working through with the vendors and everything else, we were able to get the cards changed out and life improved greatly after that. Everything was functioning as, as we expected it to in one data center as it was in the other. We use a variety of vendors. Virtual Wisdom sitting in the middle helps us watch everything to make sure that between our Hitachi environments, our NetApp environments, our EMC VPlex environments, and our EMC Extreme IO, helps us make sure that everybody is functioning properly and they, that they coexist together as we expect them to. Virtual instruments and virtual wisdom, the analytics has been hugely beneficial to us. We've been able to go through and correlate all of these different data points to help us really quickly identify problems. Fairly recently, we had an issue where we had a big slowdown around two o'clock in the afternoon. Around this time, when we started digging into it through analytics, we found that we were running out of our buffer credits. We had just made a change. In that change, we didn't realize we, that we had not re-enabled one feature on our switches. We were able to identify this, re-enable the feature, and our problems went away. But, the, but what we were seeing and what virtual, virtual wisdom was able to identify for us is that we had buffer credit issues. So for our IT group, the way it's really helped us, it's, it's a much better quality of life because we don't have these issues that linger on for several weeks because that's a very stressful period, especially in the storage world when we, we're running with a slim staff. We're able to find these issues and deal with them days or weeks faster than we were ever able to in the past. Also, for our customers, they don't see an extended outage. They don't see an extended problem. They see a problem that we're able to quickly deal with. 
they don't have this worry about IT not being able to service them in a timely manner. With virtual wisdom, we've been able to reduce that dissatisfaction in our environment. 